Howdy y'all, the Murdoch here, and we're back in this Halo video with some continued hype on the Halo World Championship. A lot of fun, although I do wish Envious would have put up more of a fight against Optic. Anyhow, that said, we're back in this video with a review of the Hot Wheels Halo toys, diecast car things. I don't really know much about doing reviews on diecast, so I'm going to do my best, but then again, I don't really know how to review anything like super well outside of the fact that I do watch a lot of reviews. Anyhow, that's not really all that important, so we're going to be doing a review, review, video, review video of the Hot Wheels Halo figures from, they were like February, I think they came out in February. Just for the sake of saying it, it's worth noting that these cars are done for Halo Wars 2, which just came out not too long ago. It's the Halo RTS, you know, real-time strategy game. The packaging itself is pretty nice. Not really a whole lot to speak of, but it has some nice artwork, and they do look good in the package. So I don't know how many people are going to keep these mint on card, but if you do, it's not terrible. But, you know, like I always say, you got to free the toys from their plastic prisons. I don't know. On the surface, I think these are pretty nice. I just wanted to give you a basic idea of what the packaging looks like before we do crack them all open. We're not going to really cover it on every single one, but here we have the UNSC Warthog, the same vehicle we all came to know and love from Halo Combat Evolved so many years ago, which makes me feel very old. And here we have the UNSC Warthog. I think this is a pretty sweet looking car. It looks a little bit better on the camera, oddly enough. I think the colors just look nicer than what it looks like in person. But they're not bad. It's your, pretty much your standard olive drab kind of military green or whatever you want to call it. There's much more metal construction on this than I was expecting. I think there's a lot of nice molded in detail. I do wish that some of these panels were a little bit sharper. The turret though on top is not articulated in case anybody cares or was gonna ask a lot of decals or some painted on bits there actually the application is pretty nice like look how small that is i don't know if my camera yeah my camera will focus let's see it rolls as rolling things should and here we have the UNSC Gun Goose. It's sort of an ATV-like vehicle if you're not super familiar with Halo. Once again, I think it's pretty nice. A little bit more metal construction than I was initially anticipating. I think they did a pretty good job applying the details. Not a bad looking car at all. I'm not sure I did that on the Warthog. Oh, that disconnects. Is it supposed to? Huh, that's a little weird. Oh, it does snap in. Pretty secure, it's not really going anywhere. And it rolls. It doesn't roll quite as well though as the uh, the Warthog. Not really to scale, but that's kind of okay. Not a super big deal on its own, but um, cool, not bad, not bad at all. And here we have the UNSC Scorpion. This one's pretty self-explanatory, I think. Basically, it's just the Halo uh, tank, you know, used by the uh, humans. The turret on top is articulated and will do a full 360s. It seems like this church, it does move a little bit, as you can see. It almost feels like it's designed to look up more than it seems to, but I don't really wanna keep wrenching on it and like break it. So um, this one is also articulated. This one's really stiff though. So just keep that in mind. This is like the machine gun turret. Also, it's worth noting that the body of the tank here does seem to be the die cast, but this top bit seems to be like a plastic or rubber. You can kind of tell that they're slightly different colors. Once again, there's not really a whole lot of scale here, but whatever, not really that big of a deal. So, um... Yeah, and here we have the Covenant Ghost. For those of you not super familiar with Halo, the Ghost is pretty much the, the alien equivalent to a motorcycle. It's a hover cycle of sorts. It's got some guns on the front, and it's a very fast, very agile vehicle. Interesting colors on this one. They put a little bit more into the Ghost than they did the UNSC vehicles. It goes from sort of this light, kind of flake purple into sort of a darker blue. This one's almost a scale. It's not bad, but um, still not perfect. The Gungu should probably be a little bit smaller, I think, anyhow. It does have these trans clearance stands instead of wheels. So this one is not gonna roll if that's a deal breaker for you, just so you know. Um, it does stand nicely. I mean, you know, it's not, not going anywhere, really. Here we have the Banished Wraith. This is a typical Covenant vehicle. It's sort of the Covenant equivalent to a tank. You're not gonna get any rolling out of it due to the trans clearance stands rather than wheels. I think this one's okay, but it's probably my least favorite out of the bunch just because it, the colors are nice. I, mean, I do like the silver and the red against the gray there, but for whatever reason, it doesn't feel like it's doing a whole lot. It probably scales decently with the tank, and honestly, maybe not. Oh, these are articulated a little bit. Huh. Eh, fancy that. I don't really know why you'd want to mess with those too much. 
It's also worth noting that this one's a little bit more in line with what I was expecting in terms of build quality from these. He's got the plastic bottom, so that's a little bit disappointing. So this is more or less how all five look together. Um, their scale is meh, not really all that great to be honest. I don't really care personally, but if you are a scale hound, you might be a little bit disappointed. So here's the UNSC Warthog next to a standard Hot Wheels car. Just a little bit of an idea there in terms of size. Now we're just going to do a bumper to bumper review of it next to other vehicles. Here it is next to a NASCAR stock car. This is uh, pretty close to the same size as the uh, Hot Wheels car. That gives you a little bit of perspective so you can see it's basically the same more or less. And here it is next to a standard deluxe class in vehicle mode transformer and next to a Romulan Warbird from Eagle Boss. Next to a Hobgoblin Glider. This is from a Toy Biz figure from back in the day. And finally, a space duck. He's a cute little guy. Well, now that I got them all out of the package here and I'm looking at them, I'm kind of inspired by Halo Wars 2. You know, it's an RTS, and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. I want to have a battle, but this isn't really fair exactly. You have three UNSE vehicles versus the two Covenant vehicles. It's hardly a fair fight. The UNSE vehicles are bringing way too much firepower. I feel like I have to do something to even the odds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm riding myself. What? Fucking weirdo. Well, I guess that's pretty much going to do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you'd like to see more awesome Halo-related content, mostly merchandise, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As I always say, it makes me feel like I accomplished something. But otherwise, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!